Hi, let's look at few organic chemistry questions. So the naming questions, example, name the given compound, right? The first thing to look is the functional group. So we find an alcohol hydroxide group. So that means hydroxyl group, actually. So it's an all, ending with all. Now let's count the longest carbon chain. It would be one, two, three, four as this, but there's two ones possible, right? But either one is fine because we let's mark the longest chain and it looks a little complicated, but either one carbon is fine. The first carbon is fine. So now we know second carbon has a hydroxyl group and the, the second carbon also has a methyl group, one of the, these first methyl groups, right? So therefore, that's, that's all. Now it's a four carbon, it's a butane. So the butane, and then the all goes with the canceling the E, right? Because position should be revealed to all. So butane two all, and then the substituents, the two methyl. So two methyl butane two all. Now that's the way to go actually. When you're given a compound, tr try to write on your own name um, mentally if you can, right? Now. If you look at the um, process of elimination, butanes, propanols, butanes all cancelled, and two alls, either B or C, but then you look at the front of the name, two methyl, so it should be B. Okay, let's look at this question. Halogen and alkane can be reacted in the presence of UV light or heat. Uh, choose the correct reaction. So now this one is tricky. So alkane has a um, special formula cn h2n plus 2 right so that means all single bonds that's a must so when you talk about alkane the homologous series should have cn h2n plus 2 that's a must check and then uh, halogens should be fluorine chlorine bromine iodine so normally fluorine is explosively reactive and chlorine bromine are pretty okay iodine is too slow so let's look at the first reaction. Looks very good. So alkane correct, flu, uh, halogen correct, and halo uh, alkane is correct. HCl byproduct looks correct. So it looks all good, uh, first one. The second one, B, um, H2 is not a reactant, so that's wrong. So B is out. C, it's not an alkane out. D, it's not an alkane out. And then E looks alkane and uh, halogen is correct and CCL4 it's possible that's correct too but the byproduct H2 is wrong it has to be HCl so therefore that's how you go by so if you do the process of elimination uh, be aware of how to do it and uh, the other thing is just a reminder chain reaction there are initiation reactions there are propagation reactions and there is termination reactions, right? So look my other video so I had a, a shortcut on how to recognize them so that's it. So let's look at the third question. A common reaction shown by lower alkanes um, example is uh, butane. So the um, lower alkanes means propane, butane, pentane, hexane, and so on, right? And uh, the, so what's the reactions we know? Halogenation, it's a substitution reaction. It's actually free radical reaction. So we need to know details about it, right? So now the other possibility is com combustion. So there are two reactions, uh, complete combustion and incomplete combustion. So I'll talk about that in a different video, but let's look at here. A, CXHY, oxygen reacting to give CO2 and water, right? And uh, the states of matter should be CO2 gas and water liquid. So that looks pretty good. It's not balanced, but it's good, A. Now, B is wrong because lithium is not a reactant, and C, ammonia is not a reactant, D, ozone is not a reactant, E, water is not a reactant. So that's B, C, D, E out, right? That's how you do it. Now, this is a much simpler one. Uh, actually, very specific strategy you need here. Methane and carbon dioxide, um, oxidation numbers. Now, this is, a, this is an easy way to do if you're doing an exam solving problems. Look at this one. First column and second column, you need to know plus one and plus two. So everything below that, that means hydrogen, lithium, um, sodium, potassium, all these things are plus one, and then beryllium, 
magnesium and so on plus two and then six oxygen sulfur selenium is minus two and seven um, family seventh family fluorine chlorine bromine iodine is minus one so that you kind of have to know um, to do this plus one plus two one and two families and then the six and seven minus two and minus one so just must to memorize thing right and they are in compounds those are the oxidation numbers you're going to get so now knowing that let's uh, look at the first one so the first one you have ch4 right okay yeah so if you if you actually if you just remember what's leo what's gur uh, that's also leo is from the right upper end right right hand side of the periodic table leo the metals and the gur uh, gaining electron is reduction is the uh, non metals look at my video for that one so here so methane each, each hydrogen is plus 1 then to be neutral methane carbon should be minus 4 let's check who has minus 4 only one answer b should be the answer but let's confirm with carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide oxygen should be minus 2 minus 2 based on our idea and then uh, the overall charge on the co2 is zero and then the carbon should be plus four so that's how we decide so minus four plus four in order answer b is correct so that's an easy one but it's good method to do any of those type of questions right now also if you aware ch4 and co2 is the two ends of carbon oxidation numbers so the lowest is minus four for carbon and the highest is plus four every other compound you're going to see should be in between there could be minus two minus three minus one plus one plus two plus three and so on also it could be um, fractions it could be one third it could be two third anything like that as well right <clears throat> okay so we'll look at in a different video on on such ones uh, here which hydrocarbon shows the highest boiling point so this is a this is another typical one it can be in a graph it can be in structures like that so what do we have to be aware imf uh, intermolecular forces so normally we know the order of intermolecular forces hydro hydrogen bonding which is um fon h right and that could be the one so we don't have anything fun here uh, fluorine oxygen nitrogen so it's not a concern the other one is dipole dipole that would be um, oxygen carbon nitrogen something different atoms the other last one the weakest one is VDW that's London forces now so in these cases it's London forces now if you look at the shapes uh, this hexane has like bunch of pencil sticks right they pack very nicely the propane also three carbons it should pack quite well but what's the difference ch4 could be very little tiny grain salts right they are they are very small lower mole molecular weight lower boiling point same for c propane lower molecular weight lower boiling point look at d this has kind of like a L shape, right? And look at A, it has like a big ball kind of shape. So the big balls cannot be packed basically, and it's sort of unusual shape, irregular shape, and the not packing happening. So therefore A and D is out, B should be the best one. It's a packing effect, and it's the nature of hydrocarbons uh, boiling point um, deciding factor okay so let's look at the last question which is um, actually the question has to be yes which reaction is a termi uh, termination um, step so let's see termination step should have two radicals going into a neutral that's the way you're going to look at it not the complicated all the uh, drawings of molecules just look for two radicals going into neutral so here the first one neutral going to two radicals it's an initiation right uh, that's therefore that's out now b two radicals come to one radical it should be a propagation actually no it's, it's one radical going to one radical it's a propagation b c two radicals come to neutral that's correct d two radicals come to neutral that's correct too and then e again um, one radical going to one radical propagation now what's the difference between c and d 